that through behind professional photography is that Hello everyone, I'm Frank Schauter, a professional photographer from Sardinia, Italy. I have more than 10 years of experience in this job, crossing from wedding photography, portrait, reportage, live shows. Also, for a long time, I've been working as a darkroom specialist. The aim behind this channel is about the real life of a photographer. I mean, here on YouTube, we found a lot of stuff about like fancy gear, great stuff, great landscape or amazing assignment, beautiful models and stuff like this. Well, this is not what you will find here. I'm starting this channel for this reason, to show you what is real, what we really need as a gear and what we really need to know to be a professional or just to be an amateur who likes photography and what is important to have and what is, I guess, not useless but, you know, we can live without especially about the gear and about the money, of course I like also to show you some entrepreneur vision of photography in, in the real world and especially for those of us like me and like, I hope Lots of you who lives in little cities or little town and not obviously in a big city with a lot of opportunities. So the assignment, the kind of daily work that we get and whatever is about a real life photography. If you are like me, a photographer who lives in little town and try to survive with photography, that's the right word, survive. You can subscribe this channel and support my job here and try commenting down below a connection to find a connection or to find a way to understand better this world and our job out of big cities and fancy stuff. So mind to subscribe, also leave a like and comment down below showing us yourself and what you do. So you are here to listen from me something that you already know or already said the through behind photography. What we see here on YouTube is this the real life of professional photographers? No, this is not. But you know that. There are a couple of steps that I won't cross with you in this video to analyze what is real photography at least for me and for those of you like me who works in little town. First, customers, of course. In little places like here, I'm living on an island, we can't find like huge customers like in Milan, Rome, New York, Paris or other big cities. Now we have little local companies who try to do their best Sometimes think that they already do the best, but they don't actually, because of course in marketing, especially in little town, we can see a lot of problems, let's say, but actually people that think that they know how to do stuff, but they don't, and try to force you to shoot sometimes something that for them is beautiful, but that's on social media, on marketing in general, is not going to work. Location, that's another big point. It's difficult to find really good, nice, fine location, the right weather, with the right timing, with the right models or props to use. You know, always because a lot of time top customer doesn't have the time, doesn't want to spend money to book your time to work. A lot of time location are not the best that we can think on hope actually are always worse than we expect. There are taxes, of course. We see all this money that cross in our bank account, but they are not our money. There is the gear also, and this is, I guess, a big important step for a professional photographer to understand what he really needs, because 
you know, we are a company in a way, and we have to know when to, when to spend money and where, and if those money can come back with an investment or with a gear, for example, that is useful for our job, organization and workflow. For example, here on YouTube, a lot of time we find people super motivated to work. I mean, people that wake up early in the morning, work like 15 hours per day, managing everything with a great mood, every time doing thousands of things every day. But actually, real world is not like that. I mean, if we live still in a little town and I want to live in a little town. I want to live in my hometown because it's where I feel comfortable and where there are my roots. I used to travel to work, not fancy trips, but a lot of turning around here in my island in Italy or somewhere in Europe, mainly Europe, only Europe actually. You know, sometimes motivation is not so powerful as we see online. And also the managing of our time, being a professional, having free time, lots of time is wasted because maybe we spend time watching videos on YouTube or on Instagram, scrolling reels and stuff like this, or being in our hometown a lot of time, hanging out with our friends. So organization in real life and managing our time is not like we see on YouTube, super scheduled stuff like big city running way of living. No, this is not true. So all this stuff could look like a little bit depressing. Actually it is because it's quite a struggle to be in this world of job that is quite hard. But you know, with photography is a work that goes only with passion. And if you make this job as your own job, as your life, with passion you can cross everything. Trust me, a lot of time happens, a lot of, sometimes happen that everything goes well, good customer that give you like, let's say white paper and let you work as you want, with the time that you want, with a good payment and a customer that pay actually, or paying time and not after month and months, because this is another problem. Sometimes this stuff happened and then it's there that you can find the power to go on. And sometimes you find also the motivation. So this is the project behind this channel. This is what I wanna show you here on YouTube in this Frank Shouter channel. You can find me also on Instagram if you want. Otherwise, follow me here on YouTube, subscribe the channel, leave a like and comment down below to give us, to share with us your impression, your ideas, who you are, your job and what do you think about living in a little town as a professional photographer and trying to struggle with the reality. So, when you subscribe, click on the bell to get all the news and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Ah, sucks. You see also on YouTube, you know, people making videos that look super fancy and then when you try to record something, you looks like, I don't know, can say that word here on YouTube. See you in the next video. <laughs>